Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix EA anti-cheat error with F124 game on your Windows computer. So if you're receiving this error, that is EA anti-cheat service encountered a system error, or if you're receiving like security violation error. So if you're receiving any kind of anti-cheat error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer and then launch the game. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart, try launching the game. Still you're receiving the error. Then the next step is to update EA anti-cheat. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder. If you have the game on EA app, then click on manage, then click on view properties and then click on browse and then it will take you to the game installation folder. Now over here, here you can see EA anti-cheat installer. If you have the game on Steam, then in that case, you can make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify, uh, sorry, click on browse over here. And this will take you to the game installation folder and over here you will again see EA anti-cheat installer. So just run this EA anti-cheat. You can make a double click and then click on yes to allow. And then over here you can select F124. Now if you see the update option, click on update. If you But if you don't see update, you can click on repair. Click on OK. And this will take you to the game installation folder. If you have the game on Steam, go to the Steam location. If you have the game on EA app, open C drive, then open, I think it's program files and then open EA games if you have the game on EA app and then open F124. You can select F124 and then click on select folder and let the repair complete. If you have the game on Steam, then go to the uh, game installation folder and then select the F124 folder and then you can click on repair and once the repair is done, you can. In my case, I have already done it. Now, once the repair is done, you can launch the game and then check. Still, you are receiving open this e anti cheat installer once again and again select f124 now if you see the update option click on update now in my case i once you select it you can click on uninstall all now once the uninstall is success now you can click on install once again now once the install is success now you can launch the game and then check still you are facing the problem again open this e anti cheat make a double click set it to uh, click on yes and then select the game f124 now here i see the update option you can click on update so try all repair update uninstall and reinstall you can try all still not Still you are facing the problem. Once you see update success, now you can check. Still you are receiving the error. Again, open this e anti-cheat installer. Click on yes. And then select the game. F124. And now click on uninstall. Or you can click on uninstall over here. Now once the uninstall is complete, close this. Do not click on install. And then you can launch the game. You can launch the game and when you launch the game it will reinstall ea anti-cheat and it will reinstall when you launch the game during the launch it will install the ea anti-cheat and then you can check so here you can see it's installing ea anti-cheat and once this is complete you should not receive the error but still you're receiving the error in that case close ea app so if ea app is running you can close ea app or steam so let me close the game first. So if the Steam is running, close Steam. Let me cancel this. The Steam is running, close Steam, or if EA app is running, close EA app. In my case, I'll close Steam as well as EA app. And once it is closed, now you can uninstall EA anti-cheat for F124. So again, go to the game installation folder and then you can run this EA anti-cheat. Click on yes to allow, select F124. And then click on uninstall all or if you see uninstall, click on uninstall. And once this is done, now 
launch the game from the game installation folder so if you have the game on steam you can go to the game installation folder in this location and then make a double click launch the game from here if you have the game on e app then launch the game from here now make a double click on the exe file just make a double click and launch the game from the here from here not from the e app or steam try launching the game from game installation folder and then check without opening EA app or Steam. During the process, if it opens EA app in Steam, that's fine. Now, if you have any other anti-cheat program such as Faceit or any kind of other anti-cheat program, you can uninstall it or you can uninstall that game and then check. Now, the next step is to enable secure boot. Now, to enable secure boot, you can shut down your computer and then you have to go to the system BIOS. To go to the system BIOS in Dell computer, when you press the F, F12 key, F2 key in Dell computer. You can shut down your computer and then start your computer and immediately keep on tapping the F2 or whichever is the, your BIOS key, you can Google it. So which, whichever is the BIOS key, you can press that key and it will take you to the BIOS, system BIOS. Now, once you go to the system BIOS, you can enable the secure boot in BIOS. So sometimes secure boot is disabled. You can enable the secure boot in system BIOS and you can, if you are not sure about it, you can contact your manufacturer before making changes as this may cause no boot issue. So if you're not sure, you can contact your system manufacturer. You can call them or you can get a technical help and it will help you. They will help you to enable secure boot. You can even go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. And here you can see Windows 11 and secure boot. And here you can see the steps to enable the secure boot in Dell, Lenovo, HP. So you can go through this and enable the secure boot. Now the next step is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator. So when you open the EA app, if EA app is open, first of all, close it and then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator and then open EA app as an administrator and then you can launch the game. Similarly, if you have the game on Steam, then you can make a right click on Steam and then you can click on run as administrator, click on yes and then launch the Steam or EA app as an administrator and then launch the game. Next step is to repair or verify the game file. So if you have the game on EA app, you can go to library and then you can click on the game and then you can click on this manage option and then click on repair. And once the repair is complete, you can launch the game and then check. Now, if you have the game on Steam, uh, in that case, you can go to Steam library and then make a right click on the game. Now you can go to library and then make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, you can launch the game again and check. Next step is to run F124 as an administrator. So run the game as an administrator. So you can go to manage over here and then click on view properties and then click on this browse and it will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file and then click on uh, run as administrator. Or you can simply make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Similarly, if you have the game on Steam, you can just do the same thing. Uh, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the install files and then click on browse and then make a right click on the game and then properties and then go to the go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program and then if you if you are using windows security then you can go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage the ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then 
open the game if you have the game on steam you can open the you can go to this location and open f124 and then select the game exe file and then click on open similarly if you have the game on ea app you can click on browse all apps and then go to program files c drive program files program files and then open ea games open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then you can launch the game and then check now you can even allow the e app to your windows security now for this you can open uh, previous and security windows security virus and threat protection and then click on manage the ransomware protection allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then you can open program files and check if you have this e app over here or maybe in program files x86 i don't have the e app over here maybe over here electronic arts ea desktop and then here you can see ea desktop and then click on open once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now also run e app recovery now for this you can type in ea in windows search box make a right click on the e app and then click on open file location and then run this app recovery make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and you will see clear cache option so you have to click on clear cache and this will relaunch e app and then launch the game if that does not work you can repair e app now for this type in e app in windows search box make a right click and then click on open file location and then make a right click on e app and then let me refresh this make a right click on e app i'm sorry so type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on uninstall program now first of all close e app so if e app is running you can close it and then you will see e app over here make a right click on e app and then click on uninstall click on yes to allow do not uninstall you will see the repair option over here click on repair and once the repair is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update your system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available and update your system bios now before you update the system bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. And then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of EA anti-cheat error uh, with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.